Hi guys, what's going on? Uh, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Sorry, my voice is a little bit not back yet, uh, but I'm trying to start off the reviews. Uh, if you have difficulty listening to me today, uh, perhaps use a headphone or a bigger uh, device which has better sound. Okay, so uh, let's hit the review right away. I'm gonna do this uh, shorter version uh, today. Okay, and my words are a little bit not like my brain is not functioning 100% because the weakness got to me, you know, like the body I lost about four or five kilos. So let's see what we get today, okay? So today I'll be looking at Carolina Herrera, Two on Two Men, Heroes Forever Young, this fragrance. And it's not a very uh, old release. It's kind of like recent times. Check it out. This is a flanker too. I, as far as I understand, Carolina Herrera, same house, Two on Two Men, NYC. Uh, this line basically has quite a few other ones like Two on Two Sexy Men, okay? This one. And then I also have Two on Two VIP line. Basically, 2 on 2 anywhere is a 2 on 2. 2 on 2 basically started from 2 on 2 men NYC. Uh, this one is a 90 mil version, EDT concentration for men. I don't know if this is a uh, limited time release or a proper release, like full on release, but I see this in market in Bangladesh already. Uh, this is the packaging. What does it say at the side? We refuse to conform, blah, blah. You can read these things. I'm not going to read these because these are some of the slogans they have. Uh, Karina Herrera basically does sweet playful clubbing sort of fragrances you guys know that um, this got the color red i had one fragrance 212 uh, vip something this red bottle okay i don't have that anymore so they always release this like a one men's version one women's version. this is the men's version okay uh, that's the box very big box for 90 mil i would say but the reason is this bottle the bottle is very very large okay this bottle is awesome for me i love this bottle i'm pretty much like a collector of bottles that looks awesome i think this looks awesome people who find this uh, childish whatever you know you maybe you're grown up already so good for you got this beautiful juice in there okay kind of like a purplish juice okay and this basically has wheels but they many people ask me if they work they don't work they're like fixed okay and got the atomizer built-in atomizer and this basically is a gunmetal plate or something it says two on two you can see through it this bottle reminds me sort of like i'll tell you uh, not just a, a skateboard but it reminds me sort of like one million style bottle okay this also has a atomizer there okay it shoots from the front a very very glossy but this is pakuraban and pakuraban kevin herrera versace they all make these sweet sweet perfumes which i love okay so one million lucky is a nice one any one million if you know you know this one okay it looks really really awesome okay got this uh, bottom here it got this batch coat okay so this fragrance has been reviewed by quite a few reviewers i think uh, didn't get the most positive feedback okay and i was not gonna buy it i posted in my group the reason was it is too expensive at this moment this is going for if you buy 80 something dollars in bangladesh because of the vat tax and it's a brand new release so wait for some time maybe the price will go down the atomizer is awesome really really good atomizer some people in fragmentic i bashed <laughs> uh, because they said this sprayer is so weak you know some of the experts go to the mall spray once and they're just ready to hate on a fragrance okay but yeah some of the reviewers didn't say this is the best one okay but tell you what i'm gonna say something different okay this fragrance i tried uh like earlier this month or last month or somewhere there uh in a mall okay it's called unimart they brought it recently they had a tester so when i sprayed it you know i sprayed on a paper because my hand was full of perfumes and everything uh i came back home or i was like smelling this after one hour in the shopping mall when i was going for dinner I took out that paper from my wallet. It was inside my wallet. Uh, let me show you where I kept it. Uh, then you'll get an idea, okay? Uh, in my wallet, I have quite of like few compartments, okay? So I put the paper somewhere in there. And I guess because of that, the fragrance stayed intact or something like it. I took it out and smelled it. It smelled awesome. It smells like burst of freshness. It reminded me of few fragrances. It smelled kind of like familiar, but I really liked it. It smells like the proper fragrance for our country. And it does have this and longevity uh, one of the thing this fragrance bottles remind me of a phone hello <laughs> yeah but kind of like a tacky bottle but i like tacky bottles okay i like this a lot okay so i smelled it and i loved it i loved it it kind of like was like really really uh projecting from the paper that's what i feel like it was very fruity it was very watery oceanic kind of like a aquatic to a certain extent if you like hawas you know if you like invictus people say it's uh, invictus slash bad boy le parfum mix i can kind of see what they mean you know because the le parfum has this kind of like what is that note uh that uh, drug note i forget always marijuana no 
uh, that that the leaf, the green leaf, I always forget. I don't know. Uh, always in black Afghano as well. So, so this one has that, but it's not really a clone of Invictus or exactly same smelling like Invictus, which people are saying. I find 30 to 40 percent vibes of Invictus from it, but it has its own smell. It's kind of like a watery, aquatic, citrusy, green perfume. Okay, and it's very energetic. It's very youthful. It's very fun and majority of people believe it or not like this kind of fragrances so the people who are not liking this perhaps are not liking the bottle one thing they don't like this house of carina herrera some people are not fan of that fresh fruity uh, like summer perfumes perhaps that's the reason but i tell you one thing this is one of the best releases in recent times why because this is gonna sell a lot you know why because when people smell this on the paper or on the skin they're gonna love the opening okay and they're gonna love the smell absolutely it does hang on to your skin for easily five six hours on your clothes so very good lo longevity for a summer perfume it's a fun casual everyday fragrance uh, yeah the juice color kind of reminds me of Hawass Invictus a little bit but very energetic you know and I think they make a tribute to this skaters all over the world by this fragrance I really like I just I, I'll just admit I bought it for the bottle first thing but I love the perfume as well so yeah it's not the most creative fragrance okay uh, downsides not the most unique fragrance that you may never smell before okay Nothing like it. You smell this kind of DNA and they went with safe with it. But to say this is a clone of something like Invictus or this like going to be redundant if you have Invictus, I don't think so. This one doesn't have the salty vibe. Okay, It has an aquatic oceanic vibe, but not the salty aquatic. So nice perfume, nice little release. And people, if you hold this in your collection or in your hand, if you see in a collection, I think this is going to be really fun. I really like the Pakoraban, the Robot, you know, or a uh, few other ones I'm going to get. But I like this bottle, even Invictus V looks like a nice bottle, okay? So nice bottle, pricing, wait for it. This fragrance is going to go down to $55, $60 territory. Do not pay $80 just yet. I did it because I couldn't wait. I just love wearing this and summer is going to be finished in a month or so, okay? So check it out, 212 Heroes. Uh, I don't know what Heroes has to do with this perfume, but I like the fresh burst of it. I really love the opening, really good sprayer, okay? So if you love those things that you heard, Try it out. Two on two heroes for men. Nice, sweet, a little bit of bubblegummy feel as well. Yeah, let's just put it there. But if you do not like sweet fragrance, do not try it. It's a smile sweet, uh, really fresh and kind of like a green fragrance with an awesome bottle. Overall, I'll give this like 8.5 out of 10. I really like this despite being a familiar release. Okay. Um, and, but uh, try before you buy. Do not blind buy this and then, oh, he said this was nice. Okay. Always buy fragrance on your liking okay do not buy fragrances based on uh, blind buys if you are uh, you know gonna be blaming later someone else it's not nice right thank you very much for watching let's move on to the third review take care bye bye